Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem height using parent array. So in this particular problem what you'll be given is you'll be given an array and according to that array the parent will be decided and you'll be forming a tree and you have to tell what is the maximum height of that particular tree. So let me explain you this problem using a test case. So let's say the sample test case that has been given to us where uh, the value uh, where you have been given n is equal to 7 that is this particular case. So in this particular case you can easily observe that you have been given the first thing as minus 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1 comma 3 comma 5 right. So in this particular case if I will do the indexing so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6. So in this particular case it says that the node with the value 0 is having no parent that is why it is assigned as minus 1. Now the node which is 1 the node number 1 is having the parent as 0. The node 2 is having parent as 0. The node 3 is having parent as 1. The node 4 is having parent as 1. Right. So let's try and make this uh, particular tree. So as it as mentioned 0 is the parent 0 is the parent so 0. Now I'll make it so basically once parent is 0 so I'll form it like this uh, give me a second I'll make it so 0 then 0 is uh, the 1 is 1 is the parent for 0 then 2 is the parent for 2 the parent is 0 as well so here also I'll say this part so just give me a second I'll make it so let's say this for 0 right 1 is the parent now 1 is the child of 0 now 2 is the child of 0 as well now I can see that for the node 3 one, the parent is 1 so I'll make it now for the node 4 the parent is 1 again now for the node 5 the parent is 3 so I'll make it now for the node 6 uh, the parent is 5 so I'll make it like this and you can see this is the tree that is forming now if I have to calculate the height of the tree so the height is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 so in this particular case you can see that they are giving the height as 5 why because the height from this particular node 0 till 6 will be the maximum height that is possible right so that is what I have to find in this particular question so how I can do it so basically there is a concept that you must be knowing like uh, that is the level of the child uh, the level of the child is equal to nothing but uh, the level of the parent level of the parent plus 1 right so that is the concept that we'll be using for this particular problem. So as I mentioned that the level of the child is equal to the level of the parent plus one. So basically what we can do is we can mark the level of the uh, basic parent that is uh, zero as one. So what, I'll, I, what I can do is I can have a level array and I can make level zero is equal to one. Take level of zero is equal to one. Basically the node zero that is going to be the uh, root node. Uh, it will be marked as it will be marked at the level one, right? And after that, all the children will follow in the order. So what I can do is I can run a loop that is for i starts from one and i can be lesser than n and I can do an i plus plus simply. And what I can do is I can easily say that level of i is equal to nothing but level of array of i. Because uh, because uh, for the for the current uh, node i that is for one its parent is array of zero right for for let's say for three that is for i is equal to three the parent is array of i that is one right so that's what I'm doing so basically the level of uh, parent the level of child is equal to nothing but level of parent plus one that is what I can do so I can every time keep on checking the levels so let's try and find like what we are doing actually uh, let's try to uh, dry run this particular case. So what I will do is I'll iterate for every index. So I'll start from the index one. So what I'll do is I'll uh, start from the index one. So map of uh, MP of one or, or I can say level of one. Sorry. Uh, level of one. The level of uh, one node one will be nothing but level of zero plus one. Right. So its level will become as two. Right. Its level will become as two. Right. Now uh, level of uh, 2, the level of node 2, what is the parent? The parent is 0. So it will be nothing but level of 0 plus 1. So that is what it becomes 2 again, right? Uh, now what is the level of node number, the node with the value 3? Level of node 3 is nothing but level of uh, the parent that is level of node 1 plus 1. So that will give me 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 3, right? So every time I'll keep on checking the maximum. So up till now I've seen the maximum is 3, right? So every time I'll keep on updating the maximum. Now level of uh, 4 is what? Level of 4 is nothing but level of the parent level of parent is what parent is one so level of one is two so level of four will be nothing but again it will be three as you can see like uh, level of uh, this level is level one this level is level two so notes at the level two are one and two notes at the level uh, three are three and four right so this is there now what i'll do is i'll 
see what is the level what is uh, the level of 5 so level of 5 is nothing but level of 3 the parent is 3 so level of uh, the parent plus 1 so level of 3 plus 1 so level of 3 is 3 and plus 1 means 4 so the level will become 4 right so for this particular node i can uh, obviously see that the level is 4 right now what will happen i'll come to this level that is level of 6 now I'll find, so level of 6 is what, uh, level of the node 6 is nothing but the level of the parent plus 1, so level of uh, parent is what, uh, parent is 5, level of 5 is 4, so 4 plus 1, that is nothing but 5, right. So every time I'll keep on checking the maximum, so I'll say this, that mx, uh, the maximum height uh, is equal to nothing but maximum of mx comma level of i. So every time I'll keep on checking and in the end I'll simply return the maximum answer that is possible. Let's uh, quickly move to the code part so that you can understand this particular approach. So what I've uh, what I've basically done is I have a, a level vector that I've made basically for all the n plus one uh, nodes for the all the n nodes from starting from one till n. Right. I have marked the level zero as one. So the level of the root node is one. Then what I've done is I have marked an answer an answer as zero or mx as zero. Right. What I've done is I've iterated through node one. I've iterated from i is equal to one until i is less than n because the nodes will be present from one till n minus one. So level of i, that is the level of the child is equal to nothing but level of parent and parent is what? For ith node, the parent is array of i, right? So level of parent, a uh, level of child is equal to level of parent plus one. That is what I've done. And every time I've kept on checking that answer is equal to maximum of answer comma level of i right that is what i've done basically every time i'm uh, checking with the every every node like level of whether level of one is the maximum level of two is the maximum which node is having the maximum level possible right so that will tell me the maximum height and in the end i just simply return the answer that will be called store the maximum answer thanks a lot for watching this particular video and i can show you that this code is getting accepted so in case if anyone has got any doubt so you can mention that in the comments and i'll reply back to it as soon as possible thank you